So hey guys, uh, I just wanted to give a closer look up at uh, some of the stuff I've been doing. I'm just waiting on a couple more casts to get this side going on. Uh, it's the three-piece tower, uh, six-inch diameter, uh, her starts mold. This is the full tower built up. This staircase is the bottom staircase that gets put on after painted up. Make sure I'm still on frame here. Yeah, I don't have an HDMI cable right now, so I can't really see if I'm on frame with this camera. It doesn't have a flip screen, but I'm going to fix that pretty soon. Um, so anyways, it stands, if I get back here, it stands at 9 inches, and it's 6 inches across and 7 inches diameter up here, so you get a 6 inch circle up here. Each level comes off. Got the spiral, the spiral or the spiral staircase. Can't really talk here. And we'll put that guy here. And if you look in, you'll get there. Spiral staircase there. There, each level, each level comes off. You got the entranceway. Anyways, I'm gonna base these on hardboard. Flock them up a bit, paint them up. I'm building two because I'm doing uh, my website will have two color schemes. Each color scheme, each building will be built in both color schemes. Um, one is the uh, brown brownstone scheme, and the other is a graystone screen scheme. Uh, I have this trio trio of grays there. I have a bunch of trio a trio of browns that I use. Just a, a base coat of brown or a base coat of gray, and then two, two two dry brushes, and then I come in with like a wash, and then I base them on hardboard and flock. This is a prison tower I'm working on. It just needs its staircase to come around to lead to that lip. I have two other ones built out there. It comes apart in three pieces before you can get to each level. I'm going to put... Uh, Grates, grates there to make uh, more like it's a prison tower uh, based off uh, if you go to the Hearst Art site he is it based off some art rendering uh, that he's found from a from a artist uh, anyways it's a very it's a he has it on his website the the concept drawing of it is very very cool and he's uh he's built the the mold uh, pretty much perfect for what the the concept drawing is so it's actually really cool uh, so I really like to pick up that mold I'm planning on picking up another set of five molds uh, the three inch round field stone tower four inch round field stone tower for I can have solid middles in here right now you need the four inch round tower to make solid middles so I don't have a solid middle so if I can grab the tower here you can see it's sterile spiral staircase down there uh, anyways so three inch four inch I want to get a conical roof mold where we can make the conical roofs uh, the wither tube version of his, his wither tube version of uh, the, the Lord of the Rings wither tube uh, wither top whatever you want to call it uh, he's a mold for it basically and there was one other one on my list. Oh, a uh, a windmill. He makes a windmill mold, but it, it, the the angles on the mold are really cool, so you can make uh, dungeon entrances and things like that. Um, so that's about it. So I just wanted to show you some close up on some of the her starts things that I've been working on. I have also a fat load of her starts behind me to make up. I'm building up a third rune tower. So the plans for the Rune Tower are already here. I think there's seven, seven sheets. And then a Warlock House that's also pinned up on my bulletin board here. So yeah, I hope that all stayed in frame. As I said, I need to get an HDMI cable so I can see it through my computer here. But I see my other videos just uploaded now, so I'm going to get back to that, and I'll be coming with some more videos. Thanks for watching. If you liked uh, seeing this video, please like uh, the video, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.